Hi Aries, welcome to this Tower of Love reading. My name's Sophia. So what I was getting was the ending of a tough situation. And I feel there's a lot of endings with relationships and stuff like that. But I feel that for some reason there's been other tough stuff in your life. Ten of Swords in general, maybe work is a struggle, sorting out children to school or something. There's just been a Ten of Swords and you feel like there's always a battle or something. And I feel like it's, you can now see the sun through the clouds. You're feeling like, I think this is actually ending. I feel that my life is changing a, move, a new cycle, a new start or something. That's the energy I was getting. If you like my readings, uh, I've done an additional reading in the Facebook group. Check that out. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We all collaborate together in this community and post in the facebook group so there's postings from me and others uh, um if you don't like my reading and so you can check those out as well um also you get free advice free programs and there's others like you um so you you know just leaving a comment is not really enough at least you can talk with you know people in the community about your journey and all the stuff like that that's the facebook group it's free to join obviously facebook so private group but you just got asked to you know join that's it knight of wands judgment seven of pentacles so this i feel <clears throat> the wake up will call was I feel why there was a nightmare, Nine of Swords here, past, which I was saying, this energy of the Nine of Swords, so everything's a nightmare, other people dragging on you, pulling on you, stuff, stuff like that, was because you was too casual at what you're supposed to do. Nine, Knight of Wands and Seven of Pentacles is not really investing in what your higher calling with the angel, the judgment card, the center focus of what you were supposed to do. You was in and out. So, for example, you're like, okay, I'm supposed to be a tower reader, but I post one a day, right? Or I post four, and then I take four days off. Or I work doing selling crystals or acupuncture and Reiki when you're light worker starseed when you're supposed to be doing saving the planet. There's something like that. This casualness is why you keep attracting people who are casual, casual relationships, casual jobs casual situations people not taking you seriously that kind of thing so like i said the wake-up call was seven of pentacles you're not fully investing that's why everything is failing underneath here in your life in your world right <clears throat> four of wands is like i said that i feel there's a change around i feel that from casual to commitment you're now committing you're now seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and trying to balance out your world i don't know what's happened with the change maybe you had a judgment call <clears throat> and and starting to follow your insights more this is coming away from 3d from people's influence and other people here nine nine of swords telling you what to do or and then it doesn't have to be literally your best mate or your mum and dad. You could be listening to YouTube and they're telling you, I'll oh, do this, do that. When you have an inner knowing. That's why it failed. You wasn't following your instincts of what you had to do, listening to others. Look, eight of swords, nine of swords. Like I said, I felt there was that stuck energy at the beginning. Uh, you know, ten of swords, I was saying. Look, eight, nine, what's next? Ten of swords, right? So that ten of swords energy here. But... And I also said there's a light. I feel that it's a change. From the Eight of Swords to the Nine of Swords, now Ace of Ace of Wands, victory. That that this is the initial energy, what I was feeling. Absolutely a new beginning, a new spark of something here. Which this wake up call, it, it was like, I don't know what woke you up. So maybe it's different. Or maybe, I don't know, right? But there's something that you're now grabbing your opportunity passionately to go towards something. And like I said, it's going to be victorious, you going on. So, um, <clears throat> let me see. Yeah, you're taking a leap of faith and stop holding back 
on being what you're supposed to do. I feel uh, this is, yeah, <clears throat> upstairs. As I say, upstairs is them lot, which is, uh, you might call it Ja, God, Source, whatever. I feel that you're now listening to yourself, which is upstairs, them lot, right, telling you what to do. That's what was the change. Before you was, like I said, listening to others, which was a nightmare. You refused to see the Eight of Swords, um, what to do, and ignored the divine or whatever you know, whatever you call it, of where to, where your path was. Like I said, so this was in and out, in and out. I'm sorry, it's a short reading, but I'm just <coughs> going to be repeating myself. So you're on the right track with the Ace of Wands here, and going to be following through victoriously. Only slight concern is this victory has five of wands. The main were other people still around you. The eight of swords and the nine of swords are still in this reading, right? So it's like, be careful. Don't fall back to listen to other people. Because they are controlling your world. That's the only thing. Because of this is about your universe. A zero point is a circle, right? The, the, the universe is a zero right the world is round right so it's like but it's like the wheel of fortune this is des de destiny but a wheel you drive a car wheel wheel can go forward can go back it can stay still so this is like i said the only thing i would say you've had the wake-up call to stop being casual stop not investing focus on commitment right create balance which creates balance which is committing okay i'm going to be a tower reader and post seven eight nine ten a day commit to it right that's what your inner calling is then you'll be victorious but like i said if not the wheel might stay still or go backwards because there's still people around you these people three of swords three of swords three of swords they're holding which is nine of swords which created the nightmare of why you didn't leap in and you held back in the first place like i said but these are two communications but you're getting clarity now from upstairs, aha moments, they're giving you, like here, the glimpse of the sun coming through. So t stay on that bandwagon, is that what they're called? Jump into that, follow this, because this will be victorious, and go ahead doing what you've got to do, and leaving people who are behind who are holding you back, that make you fail, that make you do things casually. So this is definitely some kind of um, epiphany, epiphany, but also a test from the universe of who you're going to listen to, yourself, to us, or to others, right? That's what this is. It's a test for you, right? But if you do listen to yourself and source, victory. But the test also is to, are you going to leave the others uh, behind that created the conflict inside and outside for you. Five of Wands, Six of Wands. There's Six of Wands, but there's other people, once again, in the Six of Wands. Are you going to follow? They're all holding the sticks, which makes Five of Wands. you got one stick, one wand, which is Six of Wands. Can you see the Six of Wands here? He's, he's, he's just focusing forward. If you just focus forward, there's the Victory Reef. And the Victory Reef is round the world card. You'll be victorious with that reef if you go inside. Stop listening to others. That's this reading. So, like I said, if you like my readings, check out the, the Facebook. I do additional readings there. Speak to you later.